He grew vegetables for years at his nine-acre property near Kelowna International Airport, but last year, John Nurkowski made the decision to sign a lease agreement to grow table grapes and cherries instead. The problem with growing vegetables is the fruit stands make like a, a fair rate of return or the vegetable stands, but I, to the guy who actually owns the land, it's pretty marginal. Like it would meet our costs and that was about it. Like if, if we're giving $5 a tree for an export crop, who is the net beneficiary of support? It's not Canadians. It's not British Columbians. It's, you know, people in Asia, people in Europe, people in the U.S. The B.C. Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries says there are supports for vegetable producers. Still, making a go of it is not easy. Well, getting started is hard. Farming has become a very capital intensive business so the equipment is expensive and then you add to that in places here in the Okanagan is that land is incredibly expensive so if you want to be a farmer and you want to own the land that you're farming on it's going to be really hard yeah local agriculture seems to be more profitable growing grapes and cherries than it does growing vegetables so that's where things are turning. Whether that impacts food security depends on whether the supplies of the things that we want to buy in the grocery store are being impacted. And that doesn't seem to be a huge case. So we certainly had those runs back when COVID started, but since that settled down, by and large, grocery shelves have still remained stocked. Nurkowski is hoping that by speaking out, it will convince the government to look at the issue of funding for vegetable growers through a different lens. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.